Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build the shulker box storage system. Now introduced in 1.11 is shulker boxes and the cool thing about them is that they can be placed with dispensers and then destroyed with pistons. Now this idea today comes from a YouTuber called Ether, you might have heard of him. Well he created a kind of a concept design. Now it's not the same design as his, I've actually compacted this to be more survival friendly. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at it right now. So basically the shulker box here is whatever we're pointing at um, in our item frame up here. So as you can see this arrow here is pointing to weaponry. So in this box here is going to be all our weaponry items. When we, ro when we right click this arrow it's going to go to our armor. So in there we've got all of our armor. Next one is our alchemy, so ingredients to brew potions. Maybe we want some food, so we can just rotate this two times. And then now we've got our shulker box here with food in it. Now this is awesome because it basically removes the whole uh, having a massive storage room. All you need now is just um, basically a place, like you just have to build this into a wall and you've got yourself a compact storage system. Before we start, I just want to remind you guys of the Redstone Hub. It's where you can find all my Redstone tutorials. The good thing about it is you're able to sort all my tutorials by either their category or difficulty. Now while you're watching the tutorial, you can find a list of the materials below. Clicking on them will actually take you to the wiki page. Now if you want to check it out, I'll put a card up on the screen right now, or you can go ahead and download the brand new app. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is 5 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 6 droppers, 1 dispenser, 2 observer blocks, 8 hoppers, 1 piston, 8 shulker blocks, 9 item frames, 1 arrow, one half slab of your choice and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is dig out a three wide by five long by one deep hole. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. So dig out one block, two to the right, and then we're going to go back this direction, four blocks, one, two, three, four, two to the left, and then back to the start. Dig out these center ones. So this center block at the front here is where the shulkers are going to spawn. So what we're going to do is in this left corner here, we're going to place a dropper facing towards the back and then a hopper on the side here. On top of this hopper is where the shulker box is going to spawn. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our droppers here. We're going to leave a space from this one, place another one facing towards the back. Then at this back right, back left corner here, place a uh, dropper facing upwards. We're then going to get our hoppers here. Place one going into the back face of this dropper here and make sure you crouch and right click that to do so. Same with this one here, crouch, right click there. We're then going to get a block here. Place it in this back corner temporarily and then place a dropper on top of it facing upwards. I'm going to destroy that block underneath and then we're going to have two hoppers here on the side. So right click there and then there. We're then temporarily going to place three blocks in front of this dropper here. So one, two, three. On top of this first block here, place a dropper facing forward. And then on this last one here, we're going to place it facing towards the left. We're going to have a hopper go into the back face of this one. And then the same with this one as well. We're going to place our dispenser to the left of this block here and then a hopper on top. Destroy those blocks there. Then get your blocks of choice and what we're going to do is from this dropper here we're going to place one in front and then we'll create place two to the left. We're then going to layer that up so let's just jump up on the top there. Put two more layers on top of that. 
in the center of it, we're going to place one of our, or actually, actually we're going to place all of our item frames, so place them all down like that. In the center one, place your arrow. Then we're going to come behind here, and on this hopper here, place a redstone comparator. So crouch, jump, right click. We're temporarily going to place a block here, so right click there and then get your observer, make sure you're facing towards the back, place it like that and it should have this uh, red, this big red square here facing into the comparator. I'm going to break the block underneath. Then we're going to place an observer block here facing downwards, so look down and then right click the side of this dropper here. Then we have the square at the big square at the top here. We're going to get our repeater. We're going to make it come out of this observer block here, facing towards the back. Lead that into one of your blocks of choice. We're going to get our redstone out. Redstone on top of this hopper, so crouch, right click. Block on top of this dropper. And then a redstone repeater on top of that hopper, facing towards the front. We're going to come down here. Under this observer block, we're going to place a block of our choice. To the left of the block here, redstone on that hopper, block on top of this dropper, redstone repeater coming out of this block go going towards the front and then lead that into one of your blocks of choice. Now come to here, we're going to dig out this block, just go under, under the contraption here. We're going to place a piece of redstone dust under this block here. We're going to fill this gap here with, an, uh, with one of our blocks of choice. Going towards the front here, we're going to place a redstone repeater and set that to a three tick delay, so right click it two times. Lead that into a piece of redstone. Then going towards the right, coming away from this redstone, we're going to place a redstone repeater. Whoops. Like that, facing towards the right. And then we're going to place a piece of redstone dust at the top here. Block there next to those repeaters. Repeater going into that middle block there and set that to a three tick delay. So right click it two times and then block behind the repeater like that. We're then going to get our redstone torch. Dig out this block here and then dig out the one to the left. Place it under the hopper here on that block's face there, which has um, got the redstone on top. We're then going to place a block back there, put a piston there facing towards the left, and then a block to the right of the piston. Now you've actually got to replace something here. We're going to take out this uh, middle block here above the hopper, and then place our half slab on the top half of that block. That just allows the shulker box to be opened. Then what we're going to do is put in our shulker boxes now. Uh, let's put that item frame back. Get out our shulker boxes. And then simply place that in. So uh, crouch, right click, then rotate the arrow once. And then do that again. And then keep doing it until all of them have been put into the system. And next time we hit this, it should just pop out with the uh, first one we put in. So that is the construction complete. What I'm going to do now is explain how this works, and then I'm going to give you guys a few ideas how you can actually improve this for better management. So let's go ahead and let's start basically with this arrow here. So what's happening when we actually um, turn this arrow here is this comparator behind it is detecting the rotation in the item frame here. Now depending on the rotation, it sends out a stronger redstone signal. Now this, because it's a different redstone signal, that's actually a block update. So we're using a new observer block here to detect that change in the redstone signal and each time that detects a change, it sends a pulse of redstone out. So it sends it into this repeater here. What this repeater here does is it sends a signal into this block to that redstone powers this um, dropper here, this dropper here, and then finally this one here, and that basically moves all the items along, um, and then that item from that dropper there goes into that dispenser behind this shulker box. 
We've got an observer block here, and then um, that's detecting a change in this block above. So when this repeater is powered, this observer block sends a signal out into this block here. That block there powers this redstone, powering that dropper, powering the dropper under that one, under this block here, and then also the one under there. So that moves all these items forward one. So it basically rotates the whole system. Now under the system here, where we're actually breaking the shulker, blocks, shulker box and placing it, we have um, redstone under here, which will get powered from this bo block there, because that's the one from the observer block. Powers that redstone. We have a little bit of delay here. And then we're powering this redstone, which turns off that redstone torch under that hopper there. One tick later, we power this piston here, which destroys the shulker box. And then three ticks later, we power this repeater here, and that powers the dispenser, which fires out the new shulker box, or the next one in the system. And that's pretty much how it works. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can improve the management of your system and what I've done is I've gotten out seven different hardened clays. Now you might be wondering about the eighth one. Well, um, we've, we can't really place a block here with the half slab so we're going to keep that as is. And what I've done is I've gotten the shulker boxes to actually match up to those colors here. So we got yellow, we got orange, red, light blue, blue. Uh, green and then the lime now the white one here is for when it's actually on the slab here because we've got white um, There so I guess we can match them up. So what we're going to do is um, We're gonna get rid of these item frames here. We'll replace them in a second destroy the blocks around except for the slab and Then we're gonna place our hardened clay down. So uh, I'm gonna start with green this one as the last one I'm gonna go around counterclockwise here so go around like that, then that's going to be our white, then we're going to have red, orange, and then yellow. So when it's pointing to yellow, we want to have the yellow shulker box here. So let's get rid of these, and let's bring out the shulker boxes. So when it's yellow, we're going to have the yellow shulker box. Rotate the system, and you get rid of that, and then we're going to have an orange here. Here is going to be red because it's pointing to red. And I'm going to keep doing this. So this is going to be our white. Here's going to be our light blue. I think you get the point now. And then finally the lime. So now when we go onto the yellow here, it comes up with the yellow. Now we're going to replace our item frames. And then another cool thing you can do is when you actually place the item into the frame, instead of just placing the item straight in, we're going to get out an anvil here. And let's say this first category is going to be weaponry. We might rename this sword here to weaponry. And then when we actually place it in the frame here, it's going to say what um, type of uh, what type of items are in the shulker box. So we can easily see that it is weaponry. We would have all our swords in here, and then if we want, we can just go to the next one, and then that will be whatever next category you have there. And that's just a cool way to indicate um, what items are in what shulker boxes. Now we're quickly going to decorate this up. So. I'm just going to get some planks here, some grass, patch that up. We're going to, we can replace this block here as long as as long as it, as long it's as it's a full block. And then we're going to have wood coming along the top here. Uh, let's get out this stone brick, two there, and then we want to cover up this and that so we can't see the piston and that block there. And there we go. So guys, that is going to end off this tutorial today. Make sure you go ahead and check out Etho's channel. He does some amazing content. Um, I already said that at, this at the start, but make sure you go check it out. Link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And then also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my latest tutorials. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.